got quiet. Yeah, yeah y'all did really good. Yeah. <laughs> well, good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Ben and the Mayor Port Authority, we want to thank you for being here for this historic day. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to our chairman of our board, Mr. Ron Watson. If you'll uh, pledge the flag with me, please. Start that way. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Governor, we uh, cer certainly uh, appreciate the opportunity uh, for you to be here. Uh, there is a couple of uh, things that I think probably you should know with regard to our airport. Last month we had the uh, uh, historical numbers of inflamments of over 6,000. Uh, this, this airport also uh, employs uh, some 3,000 uh, uh, employees from all over the north central West Virginia area. And the biggest thing that I think that we've got from our economic impact that was just released is that our economic impact annually is $1.1 billion. So, so with that, it is my honor and privilege and pleasure to present the governor of the great state of West Virginia. Well, first of all, let me uh, apologize for not getting here on time and having y'all waiting and, and, and everything. We, I don't know where we went to, to tell you the truth. <laughs> but we've been, we've been flying for a long time. I think we buzzed Philadelphia, and I don't know exactly what was going on, but we've been somewhere. But uh, let me just recognize a few people that are here and, uh, and take just a, you know, a couple of seconds to do so. This is such an unbelievable day. This is the kind of day that a business guy, maybe not necessarily a governor, but a governor too, but a business guy dreams of. You know, this project was brought right in my office by a lot of individuals. You know, Brother Puccio was involved and a lot of other individuals, you know, and they, they brought it right into the mansion and everything, and sat down and said, Governor, here's what we think we can do, and we would love to be able to have your participation and at some point in time here, maybe summer after next or whenever, we could start this project. And I thought, well, you know, let's see what they got and all that kind of stuff. And it just kept going <laughs> on and on and on. And I thought, you know, I just wish that everyone, all of you, maybe all of them, could realize, you know, from the standpoint of a business guy, a business guy the way a business guy would look at this. Honestly, I've had lots and lots and lots of opportunities to look at lots of different things. This probably jumped on me faster than anything that ever has. It's just that good. And really and truly, for anybody to hesitate would have been foolish. And I said, no, 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 no. You know, I said right off the bat, I said, we're not going to wait till summer after next or whenever. This is too good. It's too good. And, and so I'll go through some of those points in just a second, but I want to at least recognize these good people. Senator Romano's here, Delegate Queen, Delegate Maximin, Maxim, Maximin uh, forgive me, Delegate Summers, your mayor's here, you got all kinds of county commissioners here from Harrison and I don't know where else, and other surrounding counties. You've got your special projects commissioner uh, committee that's here and, and I'm not gonna read all these other names. There's all kinds of other names. But you've got a lot of people that have put in a lot of licks to make this become a reality. Now here's the deal, and I, I never read, but I've gotta read this to you because it's just that good. 
First of all, North Central West Virginia Airport. I mean, you really picked a big name, didn't you? I mean, <laughs> I mean maybe big name for big, big projects. And this is a, to announce support of a historic infrastructure plan. Now just think about this. It's a master plan in the works to maximize the potential of the airport. Now I would be the first guy as a business guy to tell you just this. Every community's growth starts with the airport. That's all there is to it. To me, it would start this way, airport, schools, roads. That's the way it would always start with me. Now, you know, the aim is to improve the airport and turn it into a, into a gateway to West Virginia. Also aims to develop the surrounding land around the airport for commercial industri and industrial use. Now, today, and I am so proud of this, it's unbelievable. I am announcing that, with some additional help from others, I am intending to commit $20 million to this infrastructure initiative now. I've requested 10, a $10 million grant from the West Virginia Infrastructure Jobs Development Council and alongside from the U.S. Economic Development Administration to secure a loan for another $10 million. Now get this, this, I, like I said, I never ever read stuff, but this is, this is really something. The scope of the work, phase one, will create a new terminal directly located off of I-279 that will accommodate any size and any type airplane that the runway can handle. Now another really important big time component of this was what my first question when they started this presentation was how long's the runway? And they said 7,800 feet. Well for crying out loud, you can land anything in 7,800 feet, you know. Phase two will create approximately 50 additional acres to the airport of airport space with direct taxiway access to the airport's 7,800 foot runway. This can be used for Aerotech commercial and industrial use. Phase three, the final development of land not accessible to the runway for additional commercial and industrial use. This will maximize the developable land between I-279 and Route 50 in Harrison County. The other developments going along with the airport include a logistics park located at the intersection of Route 50 and Route 76 and also the planned Harrison County Industrial Park located on the Aviation Way. Now, let me tell you, this is unbelievable. And it's already unbelievable what you're doing right here, right now. I mean, what is being done here and the amount of economic impact, $1.1 billion, the number of jobs, it's astronomical, the number of jobs, and you're all confined and squashed into a box and you're squashed into a box with nowhere to go. And I hate to say it, but your beautiful terminal isn't beautiful. <laughs> That's all there is to it. And if you want to be a gateway, you can have your beautiful terminal that you have today. Now, and so there is so much that can be done, but to just think you're gonna have 100 acres my great Lord of mercy, a hundred acres of level land within a rock throw of the airport, a rock throw of the interstate. I mean, it is unbelievable the job opportunity that this will create. This will bring thousands and thousands and thousands more to an area that's already flourishing like crazy, but you are just now opened up to go. So I would say, 
It's time for y'all to get off your butt now and go do something. I mean, that's all there is to it, and I'm just teasing. You're already doing unbelievable work, unbelievable work, but this right here is going to do unbelievable things in the future for our great state. It's going to do the one thing that makes me the proudest, and that is just this, is it makes us as West Virginians hold our heads higher. It makes us to know just how great we are. It lets the outside world that had this perspective of us that we were backward and behind and ignorant and all the things and all the bad jokes, it just lets them know that now, I hate to say it this way, but we're rubbing their nose in it. And I'm loving every bit of it because at the end of the day, we are the best. And you are doing incredible work here. You need to be so proud of yourselves. You know, these great people that came, you know, and had a vision and, and almost were timid in their vision to say, this is what we'd like to do here. They just didn't know that from dealing with the business guy, you see, I want to do it now. I want to do it right now. That's all there is to it. And so they've done great, great work. And now they had a 350 pound cheerleader that jumped in right behind the project <laughs> with pom poms and everything else. And that's 350 on a good day, <laughs> mind you. You know, but nevertheless, uh, I couldn't be more excited about any project anywhere in the state. This is what we ought to do, and I'm really proud of all of you, and I just wish everybody in the world the very best. This is going to be spectacular beyond belief. God bless everybody. Thank you all for waiting on me. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Senator. Thank you all, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. Thank you. 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 Thank this is the airport that we currently have here as you can see and what we want to do is hold this up for reference to say you're located in that little building right there is where we're at in this whole complex and the goal of this whole project like the governor said was to maximize the property between 279 and route 50 that comes back into Bridgeport here in Harrison County this area right here of north central West Virginia that we want to develop right there so David's going to talk about the first part which is our phase one and phase one is located in this corner right here of the runway where we propose to put a new terminal for North Central West Virginia Airport right there. So David has that detail over there on that one. Right here is our phase one and it covers this valley and we will be placing over 2 million cubic yards of fill into this area which will allow us to build a parking lot, terminal, place for the planes to land, and taxiway. With the terminal, we will have three gates and two jet bridges that will be able to handle any plane that can fly into our airport. So this is a huge step for us and will give us direct access to 279. Okay, you ready for the second part? So the second part, if everybody will look over here, is this part we call the mountain. That's been our reference to it for years because it's a big mountain over there where those trees are. It's located in this area right here behind Fairmont State. A lot of the excavation that will come out of the mountain will be used to make the site for the terminal and the rest of the material will be taken over this way towards rich equipment as we call it over along 279 to create that 50 acres the governor referred to. So David will show you the detail over there. Okay. 
This is what we call the uh, Bridge Valley. Bridge is right here, access road again, 279. This again will become close to almost two million cubic yards of dirt when we get to this valley and give us our 50 acres of flat land with access to the uh, runway. This is really important and this is where I really want to thank the governor is that we thought we were going to have to do this as you've heard Andy say in phase one and phase two. He has helped us get the money now where we will not be calling this phase one, phase two. It'll all be one phase and we will develop this simultaneously and get this all done so that we can get this being developed. And I really want to thank him and his team for helping us secure this extra money. Thank you. And then finally, the third phase is this area located out here, which is the current entrance to the industrial park that we've had for many years right here on this edge. And once again, that came back to the governor's sense, business sense, to say, are you taking advantage of everything that you can do in that area? This area is owned partly by the county, the airport, and a few individuals that we have talked to. So this is, this is not airport or runway accessible, but it is to help produce uh, area for other aerotech companies to be located. And David has the detail over there. Over here is a bridge that runs all the way through from 279 to 50. Our goal was to put a road from the existing industrial park road over here at Benetton Park, tie into the road that goes to Rich, and we'll tie back in 79. This will give us up through here an additional 40 acres of support property. And this is all part of the uh, plan that we took to the governor. And he had pushed us to get to where we're at. I mean, he told us, you guys have a timeline and gave it to us. And we worked closely with his staff. And by doing so, we've been able to accomplish all this. Thank you. Okay. Mike, and here's the final overview everybody might want to look at later on our way out. This is what the whole development will look like. Here is phase one located with the uh, runway with the terminal. Here's phase two with developable land that's connected to the runway. And here's phase three. David also referenced earlier, the governor did too, about the logistics park, which is an area over here that we identified and have already got in place a federal uh, EDA grant to develop this property with about 65,000 square foot of buildings available there. And here's another piece of property on Aviation Way as you enter the airport that the county recently purchased. And this is a, this is a layout of how, what, how it could be potentially uh, developed also. And once again, these areas could be more of a support area for what's going on with the aerospace companies here at the airport. bring members of the Benham Airport Authority up just so they can get a picture of this historic day. Uh, Mr. Ron Watson, County Commissioner Ernie Van Gilder, Mayor Andy Lang, Jack Clayton, Roger Diaz, Randy Kearns, David Hankel, Butch Tennant, Chris Sinelli, Buck Thompson, our secretary, Dean Ramsey, and our special advisor, Senator Romano. I'd also like to see Tracy Miller. Is Tracy over here somewhere? Yeah. Is she yeah. hiding somewhere in the back? She over here. Right here. And Sean Long. I always say it takes a, a, a team to win a game. We have a, and Amy, where is Amy? Yes, no, our economic development director, Amy. Amy, come on up and a great addition to the team. We're so proud that you all came up here and had this great showing. Um, this airport means so much, not only this county, it's owned by Harrison and Marion County, North Central West Virginia and all the state of West Virginia is gonna be better off because of it. And our goal 
is to turn that 1.1 billion and double it. And that's what we'll be working to do. So I think you'll do it too. Our team will be sticking around to answer any questions you might have. Uh, we appreciate you guys being here and uh, we look forward to brighter days ahead. I have press handouts for any of the press, so don't leave without seeing me. Thank you, Governor Justice. Thank you, Governor Justice. say this before you go. All of you, all of you, you know, many people here don't know me, don't know me real well, but I'm telling you, you know these people, and these people have done incredible work. They need praise in every way. They have their community, their heart, their state behind everything that they brought to you, and this, this is an incredible day, and I couldn't be more proud of them. Because they are, you yeah, have done one heck of a job. Only thing I'd add is just, just one little duty. <laughs> hold, hold this, which one is it now? The new Master one, one, the new one, one not that one. one. Hold that other one up. You know, if you'll use your imagination from a distance, <laughs> if you look over the side, you could make that look a little bit like West Virginia right there. <laughs> 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 I mean, it, it's a great, great project. Congratulations, everybody. You've done a heck of a job. That's all there's to it. Thank you. Anybody have any questions? Anybody want a cookie? <laughs> we got plenty. But thank you all for coming. I, th I think we ought to give special thanks to Mayor Lang and Mr. Hinkle, we're really, we've been running with this project for 15 years, maybe 20, and they really grabbed the bull by the horns the last couple of years and took it across the finish line. Thank you guys. So yes, sir. Yeah, we should never do anything on 15 years either, should we? I mean, crying out loud, you know, they take me, I mean, this thing, this project's been cooking for a long time. You know, down in my neck of the woods where I grew up, the Coalfield Expressway has been in the process for 29 years. 29 blooming years. You know, it's the most amazing thing in the world. There, we're now building the, the new road and paving it. And the four miles that connect to it are worn out. And we've got to repave them while we're paving this. Now, just imagine that. Imagine that. We have worn out a four-lane highway before we could get it to go anywhere. You know. <laughs> I'm so serious. I'm as serious as I can be. It goes out through there and it stops. And you turn down over the hill and you go through Slab Fork, West Virginia. You know. I mean, this is good stuff. I mean, I am so, so happy and so proud of everybody here. You know, way to go. Way to go, guys. Fantastic. Great work. Fantastic. <laughs> You might want to recognize the great employers we have out on the field here who are really committed to this airport. You've got Bombardier, and Aurora and Boeing, and Pratt Whitney, and EASW, and all the great employers that we have out here that are that are committed to us and committed to expanding all their operations here. Well, just think of the names that he just went through. What's Pratt Whitney or Boeing or, or Bombardier? And, 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 I don't know who Aurora. Aurora, yeah. Think of the, I mean, yeah, those are the names, the names in lights that can grow and grow substantially, and we should be very grateful to them. We want to get Lockheed over here. Lockheed's next. We've got to get them here. We're having Lockheed here. Also from the school, Fairmont State, Fairmont, they're doing the education part to get to work with us. All good. All good. Wrap it up. Wrap it up.